Well, let's speak to Kamisa Kamara, who's the founder of the Sahel Strategy Forum and joins me now from Washington. Thank you very much for coming on to the programme. So a new force to combat the militants in that region, isn't that the UN's job? Well, there is already a UN, uh, a UN force, especially in Mali, called the MINUSMA, the UN mission uh, in Mali. There is another force called uh, Barkan, which is based in Chad. Actually, both of those missions have very different um, mandates. Uh, the first one, uh, the UN mission uh, in Mali, has the mission to stabilize the Mali, Mali in itself as a, as a country. Uh, the Barkan region, based in Chad, has um, for uh, a mandate to make sure that um, the Sahel region, as a, as a region, is secure. But the new G5 Sahel re um, uh, coordination uh, uh, mission has for a mission to um, secure borders between those Sahel countries. So all of the different, these different operations have different uh, mandates. Could this uh, new group uh, perform a, a vital role then? I think that this new group comes as a, as a complement to the efforts that have already been uh, implemented in the region. I think that there have been gaps, definitely. And uh, this new G5 Sahel, again, is there to secure borders, because borders between those Sahel countries, and as you know, the Sahel region is pretty vast, um, need uh, this uh, sec secu more security than, than the, the countries themselves. And it is where militants actually go uh, through to, um, to conduct all kinds of trafficking. So this, this new G5 Sahel comes as a complement to the efforts that have already been implemented in the region. And how important is it that militants in that region are prevented from say, coming into Europe, for example? Well, I think that's one of the many issues that those militants uh, bring to the region. First of all, as you may know, the, most of the Sahel countries uh, lie at the bottom of the UN Human Development Index, um, and those militants definitely do not help with that situation. They create havoc in countries that are already fragile politically, economically, um, and now they're adding to some of the security challenges to the region. Um, and, and those are definitely uh, consequences uh, to those uh, migrants uh, moving uh, slowly to Europe. So I think European countries, including France, actually see a vested interest for them to make sure that those militants are stopped and are eradicated. Kamisa Kamara in Washington, thank you very much for joining us.